Now the latest on June 27th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Tropical Storm Alvin is the first name of the Eastern Pacific hurricane season and it has formed today. On June 27th, it's the 28th storm to arrive on the world stage this year so far. Elsewhere, Invest 94 and 95W still persist in the Western Pacific. It's day 27 of Atlantic hurricane season. No systems are active at this time. Uh, in the Eastern Pacific, of course, Alvin is the main and only feature on day 44 of Eastern Pacific hurricane season. However, there is an area of interest that the National Hurricane Center think could develop in the next five days. Low chance at this time. In the Western Pacific, the chances for both of those two invests has gone down, 30% each. In the Southern Hemisphere, nothing going on at this time. As you can see here, no systems active to speak of whatsoever. So the headline, of course, is Tropical Storm Alvin, no contest there. 45 mph winds and 1,004 millibars is the current estimate. Uh, it's currently located at 110.6 uh, oh, west and 14.5 north, 293 miles south of Socorro Island, part of Mexico, moving quite fastly away from the mainland. Over the next few days, this is what we're looking at on the forecast towards the west-northwest generally in movement. Probably won't last that much longer. Uh, two days might be just a little bit generous before weakening to a tropical depression and then a remnant low by the end of the weekend into the beginning of next week. Here's how Alvin's been looking, quite clearly a tropical storm on that satellite imagery. This is wind shear graphics, uh, those numbers there, 10 and 15, that's the amount of wind shear in knots. And the coloured green, which is quite good for the storm, uh, fairly low amounts of wind shear at this time. What's going to kill Alvin more than anything really is dry air and declining sea surface temperatures. So looking around the world right now, the North Atlantic looks like this. You can see a massive burst of... Or, or, sheet of dry air escaping from the Sahara Desert uh, moving over the ocean right now. The rest of the Atlantic looking pretty quiet. The Caribbean there uh, towards the coast of Nicaragua and uh, Costa Rica. Uh, a bit of thunderstorm activity there but nothing too much to speak about. The Gulf of Mexico is looking very quiet. A few thunderstorms occurring over southern Florida. Alvin is fairly prominent in the eastern pacific only fairly because it is quite a compact system and it's getting a nice band up on the northern side of the storm but really the central part of the system is pretty small as uh, tropical cyclones go a frontal system affecting hawaii right now as you can see there um, the tail of it extending right down into the tropical zone western pacific looks like this not a huge amount going on apart from the two invests. 95W not looking nearly as good as it did yesterday uh, out there not too far from Micronesia, Micronesian Islands, Yap province. And 94W much further north just away from the Ryukyu Islands of Japan and really very little of this system which uh, I don't think will last much longer at all. The Australian and South Pacific region looks like this. A few little uh, pop-up thunderstorms occurring just off the Solomon Islands. The Indian Ocean, very quiet, uh, looks like some precipitous uh, systems there up in the northern part of India and Bangladesh, which I think was an extension of what we were looking at yesterday. Sea surface temperatures are very warm in the east and east Pacific, but Alvin has moved away from that zone now, so it's entering lower sea surface temperatures down to around 27, maybe holding on to 28, but will fall very quickly in the next two days to 26 and possibly below which is then no longer favorable for tropical cyclone development. The Arabian Sea warming back up again after Vayu a week or two ago and the Bay of Bengal very warm 30 degrees plus. The Philippine Sea which is where 95W could end up is very warm indeed 30 degrees plus but the models aren't really keen on it forming however they are possibly keen on a system forming in the South China Sea next week. So this is where the floater has positioned over 94W, uh, what would be its center off the coast of the Japanese Ryukyu Islands, Okinawa there, the uh, biggest of the islands. Um, but really it's got a very small window now, 6 to 12 hours before it plows into Japan and turns decidedly post-tropical. And this is a look at Tropical Storm Alvin 1 minute imagery from Go17. Might even actually be 30 second imagery, I'm not too sure, uh, but you can see a big thunderstorm flare up there over the center of the system um, 
producing minus 84 degrees Celsius cloud tops at one point there. Uh, massive convective boost. So Alvin is the first name of the Eastern Pacific Hurricane list and uh, we finally got there on June 27th, one of the latest starts to uh, Eastern Pacific Hurricane season. Andrea was already used in the Atlantic last month, the next name is Barry. The next name in the Central Pacific is Akoni. In the Western Pacific we're still waiting out for Sepat and in the North Indian Ocean the next name is Hika. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest information. You can also find our YouTube page if you're not there already. Please subscribe if you haven't so far. And you can find our social outlets on Facebook and Twitter, such Force 13 All in Text for the latest information there too. You can get in touch with us on any of those outlets. And of course, we'll be back with another Tropical Weather Bulletin with the latest again tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description.